Hey everybody. Um, so I figured I'd expand a little bit. I think I cut my last, um, trailer tour video off a little. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to edit. Don't really care yet. <laughs> I'll learn. Anyway, so I thought I'd add on a little bit, um, to how we function in the kitchen. So I just turned the AC off cause it's been running all day and it's struggling to keep up cause it's a whopping 97 outside. Um, so it's a balmy 77 inside at the moment, but Bridge and I are surviving. Um, the dogs wish it was a little cooler, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, um, we have been doing a lot of instant pot cooking, which I think I shared about. Um, and so this is things up in the kitchen cause we have the cover for the stove. So I lay that down. Um, I just made some beets for Bridgie cause he's backed up. So Fingers crossed those help. Um, but this is kind of how I set up our sink area. Um, so we have these inserts that go over the sink to give us more counter space. And then um, I'm just multi-purpose. Everything has multiple functions. Um, so I'm just cutting up some pork butt for carnitas. But I wanted to share how we actually ended up deciding to use quite a bit of glass instead of buying a bunch of plastic stuff we did buy some plastic ware from target um so bowls and plates uh just so that stuff's not clanging and banging around but i still use quite a bit of um there's my stanley mug which i've loved um hit me up stanley again wink wink nudge nudge um but uh i don't like reheating or putting hot stuff in plastic so we decided to go the glass route and keep what we had um, for multi-purpose for you know mixing stuff and then we can also store it um, or heat reheat in there as well um, so that's what we do um, once we travel again I just bought more felt squares and just put them between the glass stuff that doesn't fit together well like our mixing or measuring cups um, the stuff that nests well I don't really worry about and I probably should a little bit more but um, I put like the stuff from the dollar store that you can lay down this stuff I mean you can get it everywhere but that right there um, underneath stuff just so it doesn't um, but I haven't put been putting the felt in between all of the glassware and it seems to be fine I'm assuming maybe because it's Pyrex it's okay um, but I'll show you, we don't have a ton of storage, which is one thing that I wish we had a little bit more of. It's kind of just random bits and odds. Um, you can hear Bridge talking. What's up, Bridge? What are you doing down there? I can't show you. I need to flip my... Hi, buddy. Hey, mister. Up here. Hi, cutie. You're the best co-pilot there is. Anyway, so our only other main storage was that one I just showed you and then this one down here. So as you can see, stuff is kind of um, shifted from our last last trip. Um, but this is where I keep like all of our um, parchment paper, plastic baggies, um, which I actually just bought a bag. There's something that fell down here. So I'm trying to get that. Sorry. Our garbage bags. Um, this is the hot water tank under there. So not a ton of storage in here, but there's the the felt that I just use for nesting stuff. Um, lids are back there. And then I just bought a bag of bowl uh, Ziplocs. They're not actual Ziplocs, but that type of bag. Um, in hopes to kind of cut back on our plastic waste. Because in the trailer, there's just a lot. And I don't love that. So, um, anyway, that's kind of how we function. And then, um, especially on these really hot days, we are either grilling or we're instapotting it because I can't manage the heat in the trailer with the oven or the stove on. Bridger also would like to be in the video. Yay, chatty today. Um, anyway, so that's just a little lowdown. Multi-use space for everything. Um, I just tried to set up our fire stick and it's not working, so I don't know what I did there. But um, we don't watch a lot of TV because we have an infant, so... There's that infant soon to be toddler. Not really. He's not even crawling yet, but he's close. So hi, buddy. You ready to get out? Anyway, there's a lowdown on that. Hopefully that is some insight into what we do every day. 